We got another emergency video for all Windows users. There is a brand new exploit that has been found for all versions of Windows affecting everything. And it is a zero day exploit, meaning it was not known before. There is no patch for it yet. And worst of all, it has apparently been found to be actively exploited in the wild. So there is a potential you could be infected. However, the good news is Microsoft has released an official workaround you can do yourself to protect against this in the meantime until it is patched officially. So of course, I'm going to show you how to do this workaround. It involves some command prompt commands. First, I'll quickly go through how this exploit works though, because as always, we want to know what we're actually doing. If someone says run these commands, you kind of want to know exactly why you're running that stuff as always. And then at the end, after all the important stuff is over, I'll go over some info if you're curious about how this exploit was found, stuff like that. So this exploit takes advantage of the Microsoft support diagnostic tool, which is an official tool built into all versions of Windows that is supposed to be used by Microsoft itself. If you call into official Microsoft support, they may give you a pass key that you can enter into this tool. And then that will give the official Microsoft rep some info about your computer so they can help you troubleshoot. And you can actually see what this tool is yourself if you want. If you just go into the start menu and type in MSDT and then hit run and it'll come up and ask you for a pass key, which you don't have obviously, but this is what it is. However, with this exploit, this thing can actually be used against you. Now, I'm not super qualified to go into too much detail and I don't want to bore you to death, but the basics of this exploit involves a Microsoft Word document or a rich text format document that is malicious and it basically has some stuff in there that will call a specially crafted URL that runs the Microsoft support diagnostic tool. Oh, and by the way, yes, it can potentially bypass the protected view. As for this special URL, you may have seen another video I made talking about these special URL protocols that programs can use to run themselves if they get added during the installation. For example, if you go into Chrome or whatever browser you're using on Windows and type in calculator colon slash slash, it will run Windows Calculator. And if you have Steam, there is one Steam colon slash slash, for example. Anyway, this tool also has its own URL, which is ms-msdt colon slash slash. And it turns out if you create a URL that has some special sauce in there, it can actually execute PowerShell code, which I'm not gonna get into details, but basically it can execute code that it's not supposed to be able to, let's just say that. Oh, and it also turns out this is not just if you have Microsoft Word, it can also be used from link files, which are simple shortcut files. So even if you don't have Microsoft Word, there still is that vulnerability there. All right, so now that we have a general idea of how this exploit works, we can now use the official workaround that Microsoft posted on their blog and basically involves a command that just disables that special URL that I just mentioned. So it's a good thing you listened to that whole spiel. Now you know what exactly we're doing with this command. So of course, I'll put a link to this article in the description if you want to read it yourself, but I'll walk you through how to do it here. So it involves a command that will edit the registry. So they first have you wanting to back up this register key. Oh, and by the way, you have to run this in the command prompt as administrator. So it's this command and then whatever file path you want to save this backup to. And if you don't know what that is, then I'll use an example here. So I'll just do C colon slash, and then let's call it MSDT reg key backup dot reg. So that's the file and it's gonna go top level C drive, hard to lose it. And I'll put this code in the description so you can literally copy and paste the exact one that I used myself. Now the command that disables this special URL, Microsoft says to run this one and it deletes that registry key, which is why we wanted to back it up just in case. And it is this command. Again, I'll put it in the description so you can copy and paste it. So if it doesn't give you an error and just says success, then it should be good to go. It, you should be protected now, and you can even try it yourself if you type in the URL again, it shouldn't do anything. Then finally, they also have a command if you want to restore that registry key and re-enable that URL, which is just this. And again, I'll put that in the description so you can copy and paste it with the actual file path. So if you don't know how to do that, you can just copy and paste it. And that might be, for example, if they patch it and you do want to enable it again or something like that. All right, so important stuff out of the way. You might be wondering a little bit more about this exploit. It's basically being nicknamed Folina, which is because the document that was found that uses that this exploit references the number 0438, which is apparently the area code for Felina, Italy. Uh, it's a bit of a stretch, but okay. And what's really unfortunate is this 
exploit was actually found before and reported to Microsoft from Shadow Chaser Group is the name of the group on April 12th, over a month ago. And Microsoft actually responded and apparently decided it was not a security related issue and that they couldn't replicate the exploit. So they didn't do anything about it. However, then very recently on May 27th, a Twitter user named NowSec actually found on VirusTotal a Word document that actually used this exploit. So it was very clear now that, yeah, this is an actual exploit that is being used in the wild. So then just yesterday, Microsoft decided, oh, wait a minute, you know what? This is an exploit after all. Oops. So they published it as CVE 2022-301-90, which is like a official registry number for the exploit. And it turns out after some more eyes were on this exploit, people found documents from even earlier, again from April, that were using this exploit. So it was actively being used for weeks and weeks, and it was just now discovered and acknowledged by Microsoft. Not exactly a good look. Now, if you do want even more details, a security researcher, Kevin Beaumont, did a really good write-up with a lot of details on, I don't know if it's his blog, but I'll put the link in the description. So that has more stuff on details about the document and also like a timeline of the history of how this was discovered, stuff like that. If you want to learn even more about it, I'll put that link in the description. So assuming you did the workaround, you should be good. But if you guys want to keep watching, the next video I'd recommend is the video where I was talking about those special URL protocols. If you want to know a little bit more about that, it's actually kind of cool. And of course, if you guys like this video, maybe check out some videos on the rest of my channel, consider subscribing and enabling the bell. So looking forward to hearing what you guys think. So thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.